Hello everyone and welcome to the show. Now I've got a juicy one for you today. We're diving headfirst into the world of dating, but with a fascinating twist. We're jet-setting across Europe to uncover the countries with a surprising number of single ladies. Now, you might be thinking, Graham, why on earth would we care about that? Well, buckle up, because this isn't just about numbers. It's about understanding the cultural nuances, the societal shifts, and the modern dating landscape in some of the most fascinating countries in the world. Get ready for some eye-opening facts, a good dose of humor, and maybe even a touch of wanderlust. Stick around, because you won't want to miss this. First stop, we're whisked away to the land of sleek design and ABBA, yes, it's Sweden. Now, Sweden consistently ranks high in singlehood, particularly among women. But before you start picturing a nation of lonely hearts, let's dig a little deeper. You see, Swedish women are known for their fierce independence. They're highly educated, career-driven, and incredibly self-sufficient. They simply don't need a partner to complete them, darling. And let's not forget about the legendary Swedish social safety net. With generous parental leave, affordable childcare, and a strong emphasis on work-life balance, women in Sweden have the freedom to choose their own path, whether that involves a partner or not. Now I'm not saying romance is dead in Sweden, not at all, but it does seem like Swedish women are rewriting the rules of love on their own terms. They're looking for genuine connections, partnerships built on equality and respect. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want that? So if you're looking for a strong, independent woman who knows her worth, Sweden might just be your next holiday destination. Just remember to pack your warmest coat and brush up on your ABBA lyrics, you know, just in case. Next up, we're sailing over to Norway, a country renowned for its breathtaking fjords, Viking heritage, and you guessed it, a high proportion of single women. Now Norway is practically synonymous with gender equality. It consistently ranks among the top countries in the world for women's rights, and trust me, that's not just a coincidence. Norwegian women are raised to be independent, ambitious, and to pursue their passions without reservation. They're well represented in politics, business, and academia, proving that they can conquer any mountain, or should I say, fjord, they set their minds to. And just like their Swedish neighbors, Norwegian women benefit from a robust welfare system that supports their choices, whether they choose to start a family or embrace the single life. But don't be fooled into thinking that Norway is all work and no play. Norwegians have a zest for life, a love of the outdoors and a warm, welcoming spirit. So if you're looking for a partner who's adventurous, independent and believes in true equality, Norway might be calling your name. Just be prepared to embrace the great outdoors because a romantic hike through the fjords? Now that's what I call a first date. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're heading north to Finland, the land of a thousand lakes, heavy metal music, and yes, a significant number of single women. Now, Finland might be known for its introverted nature. Think cozy nights in saunas and quiet contemplation in the wilderness, but don't let that fool you. Finnish women are a force to be reckoned with. They're highly educated, incredibly resourceful, they have a word for it, sisu, and fiercely independent. They value their personal space, their freedom, and they're not afraid to embrace the single life. And let's not forget that Finland consistently ranks high in happiness surveys. So, these single ladies, they're not just surviving, they're thriving. Now I know what you're thinking, approaching a Finnish woman in a sauna might not be the best way to break the ice. And you're probably right. But if you're looking for a partner who's intelligent, down to earth, and appreciates the simple things in life, Finland might just surprise you. Get ready for some Heige because we're off to Denmark, a country famous for its cozy atmosphere, its charming fairy tales, and yes, a large population of single women. Now, Denmark is often hailed as one of the happiest countries in the world, and it's not hard to see why. With its strong social safety net, emphasis on work-life balance, and a culture that embraces the simple pleasures in life, it's a haven for those seeking contentment. Danish women in particular are known for their down-to-earth nature, their love of life, and their independent spirit. They're highly educated, career-driven, and they value their freedom and autonomy. And just like their Scandinavian neighbors, Danish women benefit from a society that supports their choices, whether they choose to be single, partnered, or anything in between. But don't let the laid-back vibe fool you. Danish women are also incredibly open-minded, adventurous, and always up for a good time. 
So, if you're looking for a partner who values happiness, embraces life's simple pleasures, and isn't afraid to break the mold, Denmark might be the perfect place to find your match. Just be prepared to embrace the Higa lifestyle. Think candlelit dinners, cozy nights in, and plenty of pastries. Chapter 5. Germany, from Bratwurst to Single Ladies. Achtung! We're heading to Germany, a country known for its rich history, its love of efficiency, and surprisingly, a high number of single women, especially in its bustling cities. Now Germany might not have the same reputation for romance as, say, Paris, but don't let that fool you. German women are intelligent, independent, and they know what they want, both in life and in love. They're highly educated, career-focused, and they're not afraid to challenge the status quo. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want a partner who can discuss Nietzsche over a pint of beer? Now, German cities, with their vibrant nightlife, thriving art scene, and endless opportunities for personal and professional growth, attract people from all walks of life, including a large number of single women. So, if you're looking for a partner who's intelligent, independent, and up for a good time, Germany might just surprise you. Just be prepared to brush up on your German, because while most Germans speak English, a few words in their native tongue will definitely score you some points. Chapter 6. Netherlands Going Dutch and Finding Love Hold on to your bicycles because we're cycling over to the Netherlands, a country known for its picturesque canals, its tolerant attitude, and yes, a high percentage of single women. Now the Netherlands is practically synonymous with open-mindedness and individuality. It's a country where people are encouraged to be themselves, to pursue their passions, and to live life on their own terms. Dutch women in particular are known for their directness, their down-to-earth nature, and their strong sense of self. They're highly educated, career-driven, and they value their independence and freedom. And just like in many other European countries, Dutch women benefit from a strong social safety net and a culture that supports work-life balance, giving them the freedom to choose their own path, whether that involves a partner or not. But don't be fooled by their practical side. Dutch women also know how to have fun. They're always up for a good time, they love to travel, and they're not afraid to embrace new experiences. So if you're looking for a partner who's independent, down-to-earth, and always up for an adventure, the Netherlands might just be the perfect place to find your match. Just be prepared to go Dutch on the first date, because equality is the name of the game here. Chapter 7. France, Love in the City of Lights, Bonjour. We're off to France, the land of romance, fine wine, and surprisingly, a high number of single women, especially in cities like Paris. Now you might be thinking, France? But what about all the romance? Well, here's the thing. While France certainly has a reputation for love and passion, it seems that many French women, particularly in urban areas, are choosing to embrace the single life. French women are known for their chic style, their effortless elegance, and their independent spirit. They're highly educated, career-driven, and they're not afraid to challenge traditional notions of love and relationships. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to stroll along the Seine, baguette in hand with a sophisticated Parisian by their side? But don't expect to woo them with cheesy pickup lines or grand romantic gestures. French women appreciate authenticity, intelligence, and a good sense of humor. So if you're looking for a partner who's sophisticated, independent, and always up for a philosophical debate over a glass of Bordeaux, France might just be the perfect place to find your match. Just be prepared to brush up on your French, because while many Parisians speak English, a little effort goes a long way in the city of love. Outro au revoir. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of seven European countries with a surprising number of single women. From the fjords of Norway to the canals of Amsterdam, we've uncovered the cultural nuances, the societal shifts, and the modern dating landscape in some of the most fascinating corners of the world. Remember, these countries aren't just about numbers, they're about embracing different perspectives on love, relationships, and what it means to be single in the 21st century. So whether you're looking for love, adventure, or simply a fresh perspective, remember that the world is full of incredible single women, each with their own unique story to tell. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a plane to catch.